Meat bicycle. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. So, today, this is uh, just a little video, really. I've been meaning to film it for quite a while, and uh, been hanging around this map in subconscious in the uh, Claptastic Void DLC, doing a bit of uh, badass rank guide filming, things like that. And uh, I noticed this a while ago, and I've been meaning to actually uh, do a video on it, so I thought, while I'm here, I, uh, I may as well do it. So, this is the area in question, and uh, today we're just going to be uh, doing a little bit of a discussion, see what you guys think, get your opinions on a few things um, to do with this, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it really. So, is that all enemies clear? I suppose that, no, the bugs all, uh, I think they're bugs, but they'll, uh, they'll probably just stay around there. Uh, oh no, they're coming around, there we go. I just want to get this nice and clear, but uh, yeah. This is the area in question of discussion. So, like I said, I've been I noticed this quite a long time ago, and uh, just thought I'd uh, review it today. So, you come to this little area here. I'll bring it up on the map for you guys in uh, subconscious. Um, you come to like this weird little like children's it's a bit eerie actually. With children's teddy bears and building blocks and blackboards, and uh, yeah, it's quite easy to just run past it and not really uh, take much notice. Aha! Gotcha. There we go. Patience. Um, yeah, you come to this little area and uh, you can run quite past it quite easily without noticing anything. Of course, you cannot, this is what first took my eye to it, you cannot run past it without noticing the blatantly obvious sorry right in the middle of there, right on uh, blocks. So if you look round, actually, you uh, you can see that they do spell out certain words. So we've got a shame deer, uh, I think a bit further around here, you've got uh, humiliated, uh, just here. I think the top fiver is it? Where is it? No, there. Look, guilt, guilt there, and uh, yeah, remorse. So, yeah, we've got remorse, humiliated, ashamed, sorry, and guilt. Now, because this is clap traps, sorry, clap traps of mind, um, you could think we're in some sort of like insecure little zone or somewhere like that. Um, and yeah, it's just you know a way of his insecurities being put into video that kind of thing but if you look a bit further into it this may be coincidence and this may not be what they actually aimed for but if we come up here we have two building blocks just up here and it says 2k who of course are the uh, people who worked and developed the pre-sequel alongside Gearbox but uh, it's mainly their game 2k Australia and uh, yeah it says 2k there so you know, the point of this video is, uh, is this a little message hidden by 2K in the video? that Because uh, it's no secret really that this game isn't as successful as the other Borderlands games. It's no secret really that a lot of people have given up on the uh, pre-sequel. A lot of people gave up a long time ago. Some people held with it for a bit and now just can't do it. And uh, yeah, it's it's really is no no secret. It's not been the most successful Borderlands, uh, and I was just wondering, is this linked? Is that their their way of saying that they're ashamed of what's happened uh, to this game? They're sorry for what they've you know apparently turned it into. They've been humiliated by it, um, and they feel a bit guilty and uh, they're showing remorse so uh, like i said i may be looking a bit far into this but I, I love little connections like that and of course borderlands is full of little hidden messages and uh, easter eggs and all sorts of things like that so uh, i just want to know what you guys think about it whether you think this has got something to do with it or not and uh, yeah i thought it was just a real good topic of uh, discussion so my opinion on it is it's no lie like we said that you know it's not been the most successful Borderlands game. I'm obviously still on it, and since its release date, I've, I've stuck with it. I've been doing videos. I found it quite hard at times to do videos. Uh, I've always, you know, got ideas for things to do and things like that. But I can honestly, I, my honest opinion is, I can see why people, um, you know, get 
get you know have left the game really why then they're not playing it much anymore and I can totally understand that and I think I've made videos in the past and I've, my previous discussion videos have been about playability long-term farming things like that and uh, the fact that there wasn't any and that's what's driving people away and I think I did say once that if something's not done then it, it really could just kill this game off completely so uh, I can see why but I mean it really come on guys it really isn't that bad a game it, you know I, I want everyone's honest opinions on it and I won't slate anyone for saying it's you know crap and it's rubbish and all that, cause everyone's different some people can stick with games a lot longer than others some people get bored if there's not a lot to do things like that or some people have got good you know imaginations with games and can carry on for, for ages with little content but really looking at it it really isn't that bad of a game really I don't think I mean the storyline in the, the normal storyline is pretty good it's quite a long game there's plenty of maps and things like that but there are big issues with it the, the massive issue was end game farming which they have in all fairness they have fixed quite well now with uh, respawnable bosses coming back Things like that, that's opened up a lot of opportunities, but it's still nowhere near the, you know, the Borderlands 2 kind of, uh, you know, it just goes to show though, you know, Borderlands 2 came out three or four years ago, three years ago was it? Yeah, three years ago now, and, uh, well nearly three actually, it's about two and a half, but people are still playing it and still making content on it, that shows a sign of a good game. Two and a half years people are still going, yet the pre-sequel's been out six months and, uh, well, it's less than six months, isn't it? Just about six months coming up. And, you know, three months ago, people had stopped. People had stopped by Christmas. It only came out in October, I think it was. So uh, that does show that it really, you know, there is a problem with it. But uh, I wouldn't say, you know, I wouldn't say it was that bad. I wouldn't say, I certainly wouldn't say they should be ashamed of what they've made. I definitely wouldn't say, uh, again, that might be me looking into it, but I wouldn't say sh ashamed or guilty why be you know why be guilty you know you made a you made an okay game it is only it is only a gap filler for borderlands 3 and uh, without it i wouldn't have been playing you know i'd have been struggling on borderlands 2 so it's, it's given me at least six months of uh, something to do even if i do end up going back to borderlands 2 or, or borderlands 1 to uh, to play a lot more it's given me six long months of uh, you know replayability and this new DLC, I will admit, is it, it saved the game a little bit. I think, it, you know, it's, again, not long-term. People will eventually get bored of it and go away from it. But uh, it, it's fresh content, fresh maps. It's a good design DLC, and uh, I've seen a lot of people being happy with it. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say guilt, and I definitely wouldn't say ashamed um, or remorse, really. That's good enough, though, if that is a message from them. You know, sorry. That's fair enough if they, they say sorry, they made mistakes, they're holding their hands up. That's fair enough for me. But, uh, the, uh, again, humiliated. Uh, they haven't killed the game, really, have they? I mean, they, they, had, they were told to make a game, run the same mechanics, same engine, pretty much, as Borderlands 2. And they probably didn't have as long as uh, the guys who made Borderlands 2 or the resources and things like that to actually do it. And, uh, see... There you go, just as I said, they shouldn't be remorseful, the uh, the R has just decided to uh, to break the word up, so uh, that's that one out of the way, so uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm rambling anyway, but uh, I like to ramble sometimes, I like to uh, just bring uh, a little discussion video now and again, uh, it just breaks it up a little bit instead of all the, uh, the you know, guides and that, it's nice to have a little discussion and get people's opinions on things and things like that, so uh, yeah, I just want to see what you guys think, do you think that uh, this is just a little room designed to show Claptrap's little insecurities and things like that or you know taking back to a uh, time when he was young or do you think that that is there for a reason and this is a little hidden message from 2k Australia uh, with a little apology and uh, you know do you think it's necessary do you think they should be saying sorry that they should be humiliated all of that stuff or do you agree with me in a way? It really isn't that bad of a game, you know. It, it's not, I don't think. But uh, like I said, opinions welcome. But uh, yeah, be sure to uh, let me know in the comments what you think, and we'll uh, we'll have a little discussion. And uh, if you know anywhere else, any other little locations with uh, little hidden messages that I haven't covered or anything like that, or just want to chat about that, again, feel free to add it. Let's get a discussion going. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.